Hi everyone, Paolo here. Um, welcome back to my channel. So this is the third part of my web scraping series. On this, uh, we're going to learn how to um, scrape the website and save that data to the database, particularly my SQL database. So just to recap on part two, uh, we scraped this uh, website, Books to Scrape. We went through all the uh, pages and we scraped the title, uh, the book URL, and the price and the availability. So let me open my fire. So let's open up that project and to pick up where we left off. So this is the existing code. It's looping to the site and creating a CSV file for us, which is this book CSV. So on this tutorial, uh, we're gonna change this and create it to save to the MySQL database. So I have a series of tutorial on how to uh, install MySQL and have Apache running on the local computer plus setting up uh, PHP and PHP my admin. So I'll drop a link on that um, in the description below. Feel free to look into those. But you could also, uh, if you have an existing uh, access to all my SQL database, not particularly on your local machine, you could use that. That, that will work uh, perfectly well. But on my setup right now, I have uh, uh, my SQL running locally. So I have my SQL 8 running on my machine. Um, and then I have BHP my admin configured. Cool. So let's get started. Let's change this code and map it to my SQL. Um, I'm just going to do some cleanup and I'm going to rename this and say scraper to CSV. And I'm going to copy it and then paste. And rename this to CSV to MySQL. So as you can see, I'm outside the uh, virtual environment. So to get back in, just say pip env shell. And that should put me back inside. So um, let me just quickly sh make sure I don't have that installed. So the um, module that we want to import or the library we want to import is the MySQL connector from MySQL. So to install that, uh, very simple, just call pip and install and then mysql-connector-python. There are other libraries that you could use to for MySQL, but I prefer to use this one, which is official from MySQL. Cool. And if I do a pip list, that should show that I have my SQL installed. So to import it, um, I'm going to remove the import for the CSV because we're no longer going to use CSV. And then I'm going to temporarily comment this out. Comment this out, comment this out, and also comment this out. So we're going to move stuff around a little bit here. So first is we want to connect to the database. Connect to the database. So to do that, we, we create a connection. Um, we say MySQL connector, then connect. Uh, let's do that auto. It's much more easier. Uh, it's not doing it. So basically, it's the user. So my user on my database is called how to your password would be your password for your system. So this is for my how to tutorials. And host is I'm running it locally on my machine. So for you, I'll just specify the URL for your host. And the database, I'm gonna we haven't created this database yet, but I'm about to create it. So it's called scraping. Cool. So that will be the connection. And we're just going to open up a cursor. 
connection, and then call that cursor command, and that should have an open connection to us. So I'm just gonna cr quickly create a SQL um, statement here. So I wanna insert into, um, I'm gonna call a table, this table books. And uh, um, I wanna title as one of the columns. So very similar to the structure of our CSV. So book URL and then give it also the price and then um, availability. So those would be the column names and the values would be dynamic. So this we would populate by a code. So I'm going to set S, S. So there's just three, four, okay. There's four columns, and that should be good. So let's start preparing our database. So let me just quickly jump into here. So we haven't used PHP my admin. Um, you can check out my video how I installed this. So how to Gonna quickly create a database called Python Scraping. And I'm gonna assign it a general no Unicode. Yeah, that's easier. And I'm gonna create five columns. And I'm gonna call this books. And then I want this to be auto incremented. Yep. So this would be ID. And this would be title, this would be um, book URL, and this should be price and availability. And I'm just gonna check in here 255, book URL as well, could be long, 255, price, I know it won't be long, just 10, availability maybe 25, and save. That's it. So we have the table structure now. And let's go back to the code. So now that I have my table set up, let's start defining what we need to change here. So what I want to do, instead of write, um, assigning that writer here, what I'm going to assign is an, a book array. So I'm going to say book array. And I'm going to remove this and assign that book array and from there uh, any reference to the writer i would remove so instead of writing this one we're actually going to change that and say book array and i want to say append and inside i want this information so we're going to pass the title, the, the book URL, the price and availability. And it's going to go down the list, it's going to try to find um, the next page. And then it's going to call, call recursively this method. But we're not passing the writer anymore. We're passing the book array again. And then similar here, passing that. So if the crawl is finish we want it to return the book array similar here instead there's no more csv file so we will want it to return the book array and that means here we're going to assign it a book array that's good uh, so let's see how this looks so far so i'm gonna say let so i want to check length of this book array i'm gonna comment out bits here because i don't want it to run recursively i just want to make sure that we have this correct so i'm gonna call python here and site and i say my sql and we got an invalid syntax over line eight so this syntax is 
breaking that one. Let me clean that up. Cool. So let's try that again. So it says call URL book array. What I forgot here is I want this to be empty first. I don't want it to have any value. Okay, so let's try that again. Okay, it's starting to crawl. Boom, we got a length of 40. So that would be the first crawl and then the next page. So uh let's see so let's try inserting this records to the database this 40 let's see how it looks like so the way to do that is i'm gonna open back the cursor and this time i'm gonna say execute many i'm gonna pass it the sql sql release query and then we're gonna pass it the book array and every time you do um, commit to, to the database um, like this and you want to close the cursor to save the connection and you also want to close the connection so you don't want those connections open or the cursor open after you're already uh, committed to the database so let's see python scrape mysql boom no error you could also put a try except here to be sure but let's go back here to my php my admin as you can see i have 40 records inserted here which is sweet uh i don't need this for now because i want the whole lot i'm gonna just delete it cool now let's run the whole shebang I'm gonna uncomment this and it should recursively um, and let's remove this because we don't need it anymore remove that actually let's put it here at the bottom oops I'm just gonna copy this I'm just gonna add a print statement here saying um, database insert finished cool so I'm going to run the whole script and it's going to recursively run to each page. It should take some time. I'm just going to speed this particular uh, video up. Uh, see you at the end. All right. Uh, so we got an error here saying data too long for row 542. So that means one of the string is too long. Uh, let's go back here. What did I define for the book URL? 255. So I probably need to change that. Let's change that to uh, tiny text. And let's just say 1000 here. So that failed the insert. I'm going to run this again. Boom, so we got another error. Data too long for book URL. So something's not right on this. URL, this guy. And it's saying book URL too long. So it's even longer than 1000. Uh, let's open that CSV file. Let's see what's up with that. I doubt there's 1,000 strings here unless there's something wrong with the script. The book URL being too long. Uh, I don't think so. So I think there's a problem with the code. Let's see. Uh, okay, guys, so I found out what's wrong with my code. I saw a bug on the code. So let me sh open the worksheet. I didn't look at the worksheet that fine but once it traverses to the next page and i try to create the book url the url has changed to page two and then i'm appending the name of the book url so this has created a bug on the book url link 
so that is happening here and to fix that I'm gonna change this to main URL and gotta change you to main URL and when I'm calling my when I'm creating my book URL uh, here I'm just call the main URL instead of the URL that was appended and let's remove that so that should fix that bug so if I run this so database inserted crawling finish if I jump into my database I now have 1000 records in my database and the URL are correct so that's it um, thanks for watching so if you like this video thumbs up if you have some comments add them on the uh, this, um, just drop a comment at the uh, below and I'll be sharing the details on the description so Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye for now.